I like to like, you know, not hit people, but like body, physical t contact. Um, and I just love blasting the ball a lot. Oscar Montel's love of the game of soccer is only matched by the love he has for his family, a love that only grew stronger through the toughest test of Montel's life. We had a court day. When we entered the courtroom, I was, I was like nervous because I already know what's going to happen. When the whole family heard that um, they were going to take me away, all I hear is my mom screaming. Due to an unsafe living environment, Montel was taken from his family and put into foster care. The struggles for Montel only continued with his foster family. When school started coming up, I, I didn't want to go to school, so I threw a lot of tantrums. And, well, I had to end up going to school. The first couple days of school, I started getting bullying. Initially, Montel was only going to be away from his family for three weeks. Those three weeks turned into three months. And three months turned into over a year. But Montel never lost hope. I usually just, like, believe that you're not always going to be by yourself. During his time away from his family, Montel focused on school, bringing his grades up, and doing his best to keep a positive attitude. Oscar's coach, Renee Silas, sees the silver lining in Montel's journey. I think he's, he's a tough kid, you know, and I think uh, what he's been through is, uh, I mean, I think that's where that edge, I mean, comes from. That edge shaped Montel into a better student, and in the end, a better person. After his social workers saw how well he was doing, a final court date was set. The judge said, Oscar Montel, you, were, you are allowed to go back to your family, like reunite. My mom took me inside the car, and that's when I'm like, whoa, I'm actually home. 16 months after being taken away, Montel was finally reunited with his family. The time away giving him a greater appreciation for the things that matter most. Montel weathered the storm.